Hello and welcome to your inner journey weather forecast in which we use archetypal astrology to understand the energies in the collective and how you can navigate them and make the most of them in your inner journeys this week. Inner journeys of any kind, depth psychotherapy, vision quest, pilgrimage, psychedelic therapy. My name is James Moran and let's get right into it. It's a very exciting week. We're just coming off of a full moon, the holiday in India of Holi just transpired. And we have some exciting transits this week to look at that I'm excited to show you. So let's take a look at those. Okay. So here we are with Archetypal Explorer. We have the week from March 28th to April 4th, which is Easter. So March 28th, Holi in India, April 4th, Easter. It's springtime. All right, so let's look at the transits here. So we have, uh, you'll notice in the graph, we have a Mercury-Neptune conjunction, and that's actually peaking out um, as I'm making this video. So over, over Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, it'll begin to trail off, but it's still relevant. You may have even felt this transit over, over Sunday and Monday, over even Saturday, Sunday, Monday, leading up to you watching this video, you may have experienced this transit. What is this transit? So Mercury has to do with the mind. It has to do with thinking, speaking, perceiving, listening. It has to do with um, uh, writing, communicating. And so Neptune is the archetype of the infinite ocean. So Neptune is the infinite ocean the the infinite ocean that knows no bounds has no center has no bounds the infinite sky infinite spaces basically infinite realms the dream realm the spirit realm the realm of heaven the realm of the sky the realm of the imagination neptune is associated with the collective unconscious and the and the well of archetypal imagery the well from which our archetypal imagery comes up into our collective imagination and informs our stories and our mythology and our, inspires our artwork. So Mercury, Neptune, great combo there. It can make the thinking and the speaking and the communicating be kind of tapped into that collective unconscious, tapped into that imagery that that divinely inspired imagery. Examples of this include like Jeff Buckley. He was born with Mercury Neptune. He has the song Hallelujah, uh, which he covered from Leonard Cohen. And he sings about, it's a very kind of spiritually oriented song. And so also we have Rudolf Steiner, who's kind of the famous, clair the famous thinker and intuitive who, uh, has been a visionary in the wind world culture. And so Rudolf Steiner was born with Mercury and Neptune. Mercury and Neptune can not only allow us to tap into the collective unconscious and the collective divine well of inspiration within us, but it can also sometimes show up as psychic or quasi psychic phenomenon, being able to intuit things because the mind is so open the, the Neptunian potential for dissolving boundaries into the infinite opens up our perceptive faculties. So we can actually perceive things maybe before they happen or perceive what somebody else is thinking before they say it, phenomenon like that. Challenges with this combination involve that if you're used to thought, the realm of Mercury, thought and communication transpiring in a linear manner, it's, it's, a, Nept a Mercury Neptune conjunction is not that type of conjunction. It doesn't, it's not linear necessarily because Neptune is the realm of infinite spaces. There's no up, there's no down, there's no right, there's no left, there's no linearity there. And so uh, it's more of an intuitive sort of way of communicating. Great for listening, great for being receptive, great for listening to yourself, great for listening to your inner self and your inner journeys this week. And it's a wonderful uh, transit for speaking and, you know, talking about divine topics, talking about uh, subtle realities, this, the people, th this, this combination can actually be uh, the I Neptune because of its association with kind of heaven like spaces. I'll uh, scroll down here so that you can, you can see this, this summary here, but because of Neptune's association with infinite spaces, 
it also has an association with heaven, with perfection, perfect realms where they're, that aren't marred by time and coming and goings and beginnings and endings. And so I can even feel it right now as I'm talking. Neptune itself is inspiring me. I'm feeling inspired by the archetype of Neptune as I'm speaking, Mercury. So that's an exact, you can see an embodiment of it happening right now because I'm, I'm, I'm getting inspired. I'm, I'm wells of images are coming up as I'm talking. So Mercury images are upwelling, I should say. So Mercury Neptune is, uh, it can also be associated with the idealized voice because Neptune, whatever it's in combination with can idealize that thing because it gives it that shine as if it's from a more perfect place. So the voice Mercury communication. So the eloquent speaker, the, 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 the idealized voice like um, Sinead O'Connor born with Mercury Neptune, when she started coming into the, into the spotlight where they're singing in the late, in the eighties and into the nineties, people weren't used to that type of vocal expression. And it just, she really wowed her audiences. Again, Jeff Buckley, Mercury Neptune, that subtle, he would, in, in Hallelujah, he speaks about spiritual, he communicates about spiritual topics, but even otherwise, his voice is soft, mellifluous, very enchanting. That's that Neptunian quality. Challenges therein can be, aside from not being able to think in a linear way and having to kind of relax and let things come to you in a more intuitive sense, other challenges can be, um, if, if, we're, if we're functioning on the surface of things and we expect others to communicate in a linear way, we might have misunderstandings. Again, we need to let our hearing be a little bit more intuitive. What are, what are the words? What's the message behind the words? So that's the Mercury-Neptune conjunction and very active this week, although it's not exact this week. We have over here, this is a Mars-Neptune square and you can read about it here. It's, you can see it's, 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 it's this week into next week, but it's still very active this week. So the Mars-Neptune square, uh, you can see the qualities here. It's basically Mars is our drive, our action principle. And again, Neptune, the infinite space is the infinite informative space of intuition and the spirit realm, the intuitive realm, the realm of the imagination. Again, Neptune idealizes whatever it touches. It can put a shine. It can put an idealized shine, even if it's just a temporary shine on something that it touches. And because Mars is associated, it has a kind of an affinity towards the masculine. Uh, there can be experiences at this time of idealized masculine figures, the sculpture of David, something like that, or seeing somebody at that time as a kind of idealized masculine figure uh, in our inner journeys, visions that of, of the idealized masculine. And we want to just be open to that and see where it's leading us without placing too much on it because it might be a passing idealization can be a passing uh, kind of ephemeral phenomenon people born with mars and neptune the idealized athletes the idealized males like ryan gosling or javier bardem the idea that the athletes mars is that athleticism that action principle and neptune makes it um, fluid enchanting also idealized we have the namars we have the the Cristiano Ronaldo's, the Steph Curry's, the Michael Jordan's, those, those kind of idealized uh, athletes. Mars square Neptune can be great for summoning our courage to dive into our spiritual experience, dive into our inner journey. It gives us, it's the spiritualized Mar, the, the, the spiritualized Mars, Neptune, spiritualized Mars action principle. So the spiritualized action principle. We see it in uh, the birth chart of Morahei Wishweba, the founder of Aikido, the very flowing uh, martial arts system that has a whole system of spirituality integrated into it. We can see it in, uh, in for instance, like members of the Wu-Tang Clan, the Wu-Tang Clan, they're oftentimes singing about or rapping about Kung Fu movies and kind of using Kung Fu movies as a sort of a, a spiritual metaphor, as it were. There's there's an album by the, the member of the Wu-Tang Clan called the Jizza, and that album is called Liquid Swords. So Liquid Neptune, Swords, Mars, so Mars, Neptune. Also, we have uh, Terrence McKenna, the famed psychonaut, was born, he was born with Mars Neptune in a soft aspect, but still um, we can see how it's it's not as, as kind of salient aspect as we're seeing this week, but it's still there. 
And you can see how, if you're familiar with him, he really was able to bravely go into inner journeys, bravely go into altered states. That's that Mars Neptune. So this is a very uh, relevant set of transits this week for jumping into some spiritual experiences, for bravely intuiting, connecting, communicating about spirituality, and then also taking action. You know, you might get the download and the message with Mercury conjunct Neptune and then take the action with Mars square Neptune. So Mercury conjunct Neptune earlier in the week, Mars square Neptune later in the week and the next week. So really, really interesting transits here for this week for our inner journeys. I'm going to be leading a course called Astrological Maps for Inner Journeys, how to plan and understand inner journeys using archetypal astrology. That's a six week course coming up and all are welcome. The summary of the course is that during the initial research into the therapeutic use of psychedelics in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, researchers developed archetypal astrology as their tool to both anticipate and make sense of the unconscious material surfacing to conscious awareness in the psyches of study participants. Since that time, archetypal astrology has proven to be an unparalleled practice for planning and understanding inner journeys of any kind whether they be psychedelic journeys, meditation intensives, yoga retreats, vision quests, depth psychology experiences, pilgrimages, etc. So in this six week course, we're going to develop a personal archetypal astrology practice that's going to add a new texture and insight to our inner journeys, as well as sync us up with the rhythms of life and everything we do, and ultimately connect our inner healing intelligence with the larger order, meaning and wisdom of the cosmos itself. And we've got six modules here. The first module starting Sunday, April 18th, discovering the texture and landscape of time. So this is introducing archetypal, the astrological archetypes and transit analysis. We've got module two, unearthing the fundamental building blocks of reality and perception. And this introduces the archetypal combinations something called coex systems and basic perinatal birth matrices, which came out of the research of Dr. Stanislav Grof into therapeutic use of psychedelics. We've got module three, revisiting the gods and goddesses, case studies in inner journeys and the transcendent nature of the archetypes, okay? Module four, surfing the shifting paradigm, archetypal mindfulness, the practice of archetypal mindfulness, what it is, how we can use it to celebrate rapturous experiences and transform difficult experiences into valuable periods of psycho-spiritual growth. Module five, the non-dual doorway to the healing intelligence of the cosmos, how we can use archetypal astrology as a path of spiritual awakening itself. And then module six, setting off on your own journey. So we're gonna, we're gonna set you off looking at the path behind your developmental trajectory that, that has led you to where you are, what the landscape of time is ahead of you and how we are centered right here in our bravery, jumping forward uh, in our spiritual growth. Okay, so that's Astrological Master Inner Journeys, how to plan and understand your inner journeys using archetypal astrology. I'll uh, provide the link below in the description of this video. Thank you for being with me here today. I hope you enjoy your inner journeys, your outer journeys, and your inner, your parallel inner journeys this week. Very exciting time to be alive. So thank you so much for being with me here today.